Good afternoon. Hello and welcome to InstaForex Economic News TV channel with us, Anna Kasat And Ekaterina Stichina. You are watching the currency and commodity market review for the previous week. So what changes took place in the foreign exchange market throughout the last week? The US dollar rose in price against the basket of other major currencies on Friday. What triggered the rally? Investors' attention remained focused on the Fed's plan to tighten monetary policy. But downbeat employment statistics went on the American currency. The US dollar index reflecting the dollar's position versus the basket of six major currencies increased by 0.47% on Friday to 101.08, the highest level since March 15. Over the past week, the dollar index rose by 0.9%. It was the second consecutive week of growth. On Friday, the US Labor Department published a report on employment, according to which only 98,000 jobs were created in March, compared with a forecast growth of 180,000. The decline in job growth was partly due to winter storms and lower temperatures. At the same time, the unemployment rate in the United States dropped to the lowest mark for 10 years, 4.5%. That indicated a good situation in the labor market. After the publication of the weak employment report, the dollar began to decline, but then it resumed its rally. The greenback got support after the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, William Dudley, said that the Federal Reserve's plans to start cutting the budget this year will just temporarily delay further interest rate hikes. The dollar was also supported after the U.S. missile attack uh, at the air base in Syria. The euro fell against the dollar. The euro USD pair slipped by 0.5% to 1.0590. For the week, the euro lost 68 points. The British pound also dropped. The sterling lost 0.82%, falling to 1.2366 after the report, which showed UK industrial production and expectantly declined in February. Another report revealed that the UK trade deficit was the highest since uh, September 2016. That raised uh, fears about uh, unpleasant consequences of Brexit for the British economy. Over the week, the pound lost 166 uh, points. That was all about the current tendencies on Forex. But who took uh, the lead in the commodity market last week, bulls or bears? On Friday, bulls reasserted their dominance in the oil market, however, bears got the upper hand in gold trades. But what uh, fueled these tendencies? Oil futures rallied on Friday to a monthly high on the news about the U.S. missile attack at the air base in Syria. During the Friday session, oil prices switched to a negative trend when fears of a further increase in tensions in the region were dispelled and the U.S. economic data began to affect the market. In London, June Brent crude futures rose by 35 cents to $55.24 a barrel. For the week, Brent crude futures gained approximately 3.1 percent, and that was the second consecutive week of rising oil prices. WTI futures for May delivery advanced by 54 cents to $52.24 a barrel. Over the week, WTI prices rose by 3.1 percent. Traders remain concerned about an increase in the production of shale oil in the United States. Baker Hughes reported on Friday that the number of active drilling rigs in the United States jumped by 10 the previous week. The total number of drilling rigs reached 672 the highest level since September 2015. Meanwhile, gold prices declined from five-month high after the U.S. dollar strengthening. June gold futures rose by 0.21% to $1,255.95 on the New York Mercantile Exchange Division COMEX. After the missile attack on the Syrian airfield, gold prices hiked sharply. However, soon prices caught a downtrend again after the greenback advanced. Anna, thank you for your commodity market review. You have uh, been watching the weekly currency and commodity market review on InstaForex TV. It was presented to you by us, Yekaterina Stich and Danika Satkina. Have a great day. Bye. See you.